Good morning. Hello. Kind of early. I'm doing my podcast. Three, four, five minutes, six minutes. <clears throat> One of these days, um, I'm going to start reading some of my longer ones. Some of my better, better ones. You'll be impressed. Lately, I've just been polishing up some old ones. <clears throat> so, uh, so why don't I just jump right into it, okay? <clears throat> I gave, um, I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot at writing a children's story. So this, this is it. It's called Boopsy and Sally. There was a tiny mouse named Boopsy. Everyone knew he was a real, he was quite a cutie. Always looking for some tasty treats, mostly cheese. The only thing that would please him. On one fine day, he met a lady mouse named Sally, who was flirtatious, but also very sassy and totally classy. It was love at first sight. It was also lovely and dandy. They made a good team, that's for sure with hearts that always was beating for each other. They were both were very pure, and they loved a good party. I kind of thought it was quite dandy. They were happy as can be, so light as on their feet, like a gentle breeze. And here is where the story turned quickly. You need to see this. They almost had quite a disaster. That could have made anyone shimmer, their hopes hung on a glimmer. They met a mean old man who lived near the sea. He la he loved his he lost his lovely wife many years on a summer eve. He met the nice mice but would not give them any cheese. His name was a still a mystery. You can you can ask how can this be? This man had not very much glee. This lovely couple of mice had little babies they needed to feed, so they begged the old man for help. I'm sure you can understand this. They constantly said, please. Finally, the old man's heart melted and change came about very quickly. That could have been because he was very, a bit sickly. They moved into the house, into the attic, even if the place did creak. Sometimes they would hear noises and completely freak. I'm Afraid the end of the story nears. Please don't hurt any mice. You see, they can be so dear. They could be Boopsy and Sally. Oh, this you must know. Good night, little children. Off to sleep you go. Do not try to snore. You'll wake them up, and then they'll bother you all night long. Oh, by the way, this story has a fluffy big cat, but he did not bother anyone. Thank you. Please reshare.